Theorem 1016 is looking at segments of secants and tangents. So let's look at this real quick. First, we looked at chords and how their segments are related. Then we looked at secants and how their segments are related. Now we're going to look at a secant and a tangent. So we're going to look at what happens when we have a tangent that meets up with a secant. All right, and what this theorem tells us is that if a secant segment and a tangent segment share an endpoint, which is what we have down here with point A, outside a circle, then the product of the lengths of the secant segment and its external segment equal the square of the lengths of the tangent segment. What this is saying is that, again, we're going to take our entire secant times the part of the secant that's outside of the circle. So we get AD times AC. This here we go. This value here is going to equal our tangent segment times itself. So this will equal AB times AB, or we can write this as AB squared. It's up to you which way you prefer to write this. If you prefer to write it as AB times AB, that's absolutely fine. Because what we notice then is that all, our, all of our theorems have us having two segments multiplied on each side. And so that might help you remember how to relate these segments. If you prefer to see it as a square, that's all right as well. But let's look at an example. For the picture below, first of all, we recognize we have a tangent line, or a tangent segment, and a secant. Because our tangent only intersects once, and our secant intersects twice. This means we're using our most recent theorem, and they do have a common endpoint. So try to find the value of R, or not RS. Let's have you find the value of EB. Pause the video, work this out on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, because we're using the theorem above, I'll deal with the secant first. I want to use the entire secant, x plus 8, multiplied by the part of the secant that is outside of our circle. So times x. This is going to equal the tangent segment times itself. We get x squared plus 8x by distributing equals 16 times 16. It's going to be 256. Because I only have 1x squared, this isn't going to cancel. So what I end up with is x squared plus 8x minus 256 all on one side equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. This means we need to solve. We're going to solve for this using the quadratic formula, which is that negative b, that x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This tells us that x will equal negative 8 plus or minus 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 256 all over 2 times 1. When we work this out, we find out that x equals negative 4 plus or minus 4 times the square root of 17, which means my two solutions are either x equals negative 4 plus 4 times the root 17 which is approximately 12.49, or that x equals negative 4 minus 4 times root 17. The problem with this solution is it gives us a negative number, which we don't like. So we're actually going to discard it, and we're going to use the 12.49. Plugging 12.49 back in, we find that EB is approximately 20.49. 